Now, first of all, you're from Japan. Yes, I'm from Japan. Why President Trump for you? Because, you know, only Trump can bring peace to Japan and Korea. That's why we came here to support Trump. Support Trump. And you know, you talk about communism and the threat of China. Are you very concerned? We are, uh, you know, American troops had uh, protected our country, Korea, Japan. And uh, many troops had died, sacrificed. But, uh, you know, now the we think communism is going to be going to invade America through the you know money or something uh, like that. So we we so could we uh, so Trump if Trump became president, the America will be protected from communism communism invasion. That's why we came here. You know, President Xi Jinping of China has stated boldly that they want China to be, he wants China to be the world power by the year 2049, which is right around the corner when you really think about it. Now, you are from Korea, and, and we were just talking, and you were letting me know that China is a bigger threat to you than North Korea. Yeah. Talk about that. Well, historically, that during the Korean War, under the help of the UN forces led by the United States, America. We almost, you know, unified the Korean Peninsula, but then it was a Chinese Communist Party that came down and then made North Korea communism again. And we believe that if America falls, it, everything, every, everywhere, the freedom everywhere will fall down. America is the last bastion for freedom. Exactly. If America falls, then there will be no freedom throughout the world. Korea will fall, Japan will fall, Taiwan will fall, everywhere. Yes. The world will be consumed by communism, just yes. like what you said, that China will, China will invade the whole world. We can't have that. You can't let Chinese destroy our values, destroy our freedom, destroy our freedom of religion. Absolutely. I, and I'm so grateful that you're out here to share this. You know, can I just say, God bless these people. You know, as I was saying before, God bless these people. God bless them. Speaking from the heart, why is it that Americans here, born and raised in this country, generations of families, why is it that we need to be literally told, spoken to, lectured to by these wonderful immigrants who have come to the United States of America, are living their lives here, just loving everything about this country, telling us how great America is, that it is the last bastion for freedom, democracy. And how these um, immigrants here so eloquently, I mean, yes, okay, they were having a little difficult. Of course they're going to, they're trying to come up with the words. You think we could be as proficient if we were speaking Korean or Japanese? <laughs> come on now. They were, their words were thought out. They were passionate. They were, they, they instill a love of America. They're supporting Donald Trump. Listen, if they were Democrats and they were supporting America and American values and democracy, I, mean, I still would say, okay. But be that as it may, I'm certainly glad that they're Trump supporters. And you have a lot of people from the Asian community that are supporting Trump. Filipino, Taiwanese, Japanese, Chinese, South Korean, from India, Indian Americans, even though Kumala Harris, you know, is half Indian, half Jamaican. But a lot of Indian people I talked to when she was running the first time, they were saying, we didn't even know she was Indian, we never knew. But this is just absolutely, and, and you see it all the time. Immigrants 
that have come here, that have been here, just came here or have been here for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, have got families now. Students at universities, question and answer sessions, come up and say, I just came from Cuba. You kids, you guys have no idea what we went through, what communism was really like. They talk about them being in China, in North Korea, in North Vietnam, in these communist dictatorships, in these socialist you know, regimes, and tell us what they went through. And they say the American students here are so privileged, so elite. They have such, I mean, they're allowed to speak out. And yes, it's so easy to speak against communism and socialism when you live in a democracy. Try doing that in a communist or socialist state and see how long you'll be able to have your freedom of speech be allowed to be spoken without anything happening to you. But folks, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You're watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your host. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. You all know what to do. Take a look at our video links above and below. Comment. Let me know what you think. What do you think of these two patriots here that are now part of the American fabric? My final thought is always, when you're right, you're right. And those two couldn't have been more right. And when you're left, you're just wrong. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.